Yes, we'll be on BRS MLC K Kavita as she is likely to appear before the Enforcement Directorate for questioning in the Delhi Liquor Gate probe today. Earlier, ED arrested her alleged aide, a Hyderabad based businessman Arun Pillai, in the same case. The investigating agency claims that Kavita was part of the South Group that allegedly paid a 100 crore kickback to the Aam Aadmi Party and that the AAP used this money for campaigning in Punjab and Goa polls. However, both K Kavita and other BRS leaders have condemned the summons accusing the Modi government of using central agencies as hunting dogs to target the opposition. Meanwhile, BRS chief KCR has hit out at the Safran party saying that it can't tolerate the development that Telangana is continuously achieving. Speaking indirectly over ED summons to Kavita, the Telangana chief KCR has said that the BJP is targeting and harassing BRS leaders through various central agencies in false cases, but they will continue to fight it. My colleague Ishika is passionate with us. Ishika, good morning. Now, KCR has come forward and given a statement stating that the BJP government at the centre has been targeting the BRS leaders in a systematic manner. And the Chief Minister also said that the central agency started with the party ministers and MPs and is now targeting his daughter. Well, yes, definitely. Right now, you know, that is the big breaking that we're getting, that Chief Minister of Telangana, KCR, has finally reacted to K. Kavita's ED summon. Now, what he has said is that, you know, there has been a clear misuse of the central agencies by the central government, and this is being done to target the political rivals. And, in fact, he is targeting Telangana because Telangana right now is achieving. That is what he has said, that because Telangana... Telangana is progressing. Chief, uh, you know, the Prime Minister cannot digest that. But apart from that, you know, this was the uh, very, very thing that was said by K. Kavita in her press conference also. You know, uh, the, the thing that she said was that the modus operandi of BJP is that wherever there is election, the ED reaches first and then Modi. So definitely what we are seeing is that the opposition also is getting united and alleging that we, uh, Prime Minister is misusing the agencies against his political rivals. But today is a big day as, in fact, K. Kavita is summoned by the ED in the grave allegations in the alleged liquor policy scam. Now, ED says that there has been, you know, involvement of the South Group and K. Kavita allegedly was a part of the South Group. Now, they are also going to, in fact, you know, uh, to confront her with the Hyderabad-based uh, businessman Arun Pillai today to get more statements out of her. But apart from that, you know, they have evidences. They are saying that there was a clearly and, you know, indication that, in fact, there was a political understanding standing between K. Kavita and the, Dep and the then Deputy Chief Minister Mani Sisodia. Also, the South Group was illegally getting benefits and partnership in Indo Spirits. Over to you. Thank you, Shika, for bringing us all the new inputs. We'll be coming back to you once we have more updates on the same.